Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I am doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag which I haven't done in forever and it's basically I have a list of things that I need to find on my bookshelf. So you're down here, this is if I stand up, this is if I crouch down because my tripod's so small. But uh, we're going to have a little go and play around and see. Now I've got a long list of things to find so let's get on with it! Whee! Find an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. <gasps> This is always really difficult. I don't know. Can't find one, but if I do find one during this video, I'll show you. Find a classic. Greek myths. I got this uh, from a Barnes and Nobles. My friend got it for me from America. <laughs> find a book with a key on it. The Key by Jennifer Ann Davis. This has a key in the title. And this is a fantasy book in the first book of the True Reign series. And it's about princesses not realizing that they're royalty and being abducted by evil princes. And yeah, it's really good. Find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. Well, that's easy. Hagrid. Find the oldest book on your shelf. It's the same book as last time and it's the Iliad by Homer and it is like an 18, 18, 1800s edition. I'm not too sure, but it's an old edition for sure. 1950. Find a book with a girl on the cover. This is gonna be so easy. Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bardsley and this has a girl on the front. Look, can you see she's like this? And this is all about a futuristic world set where people um, are kind of really obsessed with the internet and you have some people who have no virtual footprint and they've been brought up in this system where that's the whole point and then they're sold off to the highest bidder and this girl, she is a Vestal and she has no, vestal, uh, no virtual footprint and she is bought by this man and yes, it is so good. Find a book that has an animal in it. Built by Lynn Matson because this has loads of animals in it. Um, whatever animals fall through the portals into the island are there and there's like cute cats and giraffes and stuff, so, <laughs> woohoo! Find a book with a male protagonist. Oh my god, this is gonna be more hard than I, ah! Half Bad by Sally Green. There's not much I need to say about this, guys, you know I love it. Find a book with only words on it. I'm going to cheat and use the Half Bad proof because this is like the only one I can find, so, <laughs> you know. Find a book with illustrations in it. And down here. This series, this middle grade series, Professor Gargoyle, it has illustrations inside. Ah! Find a book with gold lettering! The Gathering Dark by Lee Bardugo, which is actually the Shadow and Bone series. This is the first edition. Look at the glitter and gold. Find a diary, true or fictional? Oh my god, where's that book? Ah! The Dead House by Dawn Kirchridge. This is written really cool in like diary formats, as well as videotapes and as well as interviews. It's so good and it's creepy as well. So yes, The Dead House. Find a book written by someone with a common name, E.G. Smith. I could go Sally Green because like, everyone seems to be called Green. I'm going Christina Benjamin because Christina well, Benjamin's my name, so I'm just gonna go with that. This book is the first book in a fantasy trilogy about kids based on an island. They're all orphans and they're used by the government to clean up after this great flood. But some of them realise they have superpowers. So, yes, truth. Oh my god, it's like Matilda meets Red Queen. So, love it. So good. And it's free to download on Kindle. It's free to download on Kindles, guys. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. This is easy. <laughs> Cinder Williams Chima, the warrior heir, has a close-up of a sword handle. So that's what I'm going to pick, because I am. This is a fantasy book, uh, set in modern day, but between modern day and an alternative reality. Yes. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. I'm going to pick The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. It doesn't take place in an early time period, but it's about Greek gods and there are parts in the Greek god ancient times, so that's as early as I'm gonna get it. Find a hardcover book without a jacket. This is going to be hard because there's only one and you guys have seen it before. The Viners by Libba Bray is the only thing I have without a jacket. It's because it's a, an English hardback and normally English hardbacks used to come without jackets, so yeah, definitely The Diviners by Libba Bray. Find a teal or turquoise coloured book. Well, by God, they're all bloody teal or turquoise. I'm going Wicked by Jennifer Armentrout Out My Bay. Um, this is a book set in New Orleans about demons and demon hunters and protectors of the human race. And yes, look at that. I can't wait for the sequel. Oh my God, this book was so good. Things are about to get wicked in New Orleans. Find a book with stars on it. I don't know. Oh my God, yes, I do know. Justice Buried by Hilary Thompson. This is a book set in the future, but it's based on like star signs and mythology. And it's 
it's basically a world ruled on ancient times and there's elemental control and all sorts so yes justice buried by hillary thompson so goddamn good I find a non-ya book fell side by mr kerry i bought this the other day it is another mr kerry book it's a standalone and it is a horror thriller i believe and i love mr kerry as an author so i'm really looking forward to reading this one so there you have it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if you did and if you did i will definitely do something else like this soon thanks so much for watching i'll see you all again very soon all the books mentioned bye bye